In this weird world of ours, there's no shortage of strange things to make a video on. This one though, is about a disappearance of a man of extreme importance. I'm talking about Australia's 17th Prime Minister, Harold Holt. There is no question that he disappeared and was never seen again, but the real question is how and why. For the Aussie viewers out there, I'm sure you're aware of this, but for those who are not, I'm going to tell you about Harold Holt. Harold Holt was the 17th Prime Minister of Australia from January 26, 1966 to December 17th 1967 when he disappeared. As far as politicians go in Australia, he's pretty well liked and has been hailed as one of the greatest Labor Ministers Australia has ever seen. There is more to the story than that though. Holt was described as a man's man. He was an avid sportsman, spear fisherman, snorkeler and he was a strong swimmer. On December 17th 1967, him accompanied by his two friends and his two regular bodyguards ventured to his favourite swimming spot on Sheboyd Beach. There is also something to note about Sheboyd Beach. The waters are notoriously choppy and conceal a dangerous rip. It is said that the water was particularly rough that day, and despite warnings from his friends, Holt went in for a swim anyway. After getting in trouble in rough surf, Holt disappeared below the waves, never to be seen again. A search party was immediately dispatched. The search party included the Australian Navy, the Australian Air Force, and other military personnel, and a host of volunteers. Despite what ultimately became one of the largest searches in Australia's history, lasting 22 days, no trace of Holt was ever found. Now, as the story is told, Holt was just very unfortunate and got swept out to sea. After all, that is the official story and what we're told to believe, but just because it's official doesn't mean it was the truth. Two days after the incident, the Australian government released a statement saying Holt was presumed dead, although no official inquiry had been held. The Victorian Police Department compiled a lengthy report mentioning weather conditions, eyewitness accounts and the findings of the search. They also stated that Holt had a shoulder injury which nearly caused him to drown several months earlier. Holt also had a collapse in Parliament the same year. He ended up blaming vitamin deficiency. It all seemed that Holt's disappearance was just very bad misfortune or as some would call it, death by misadventure. The official conclusion didn't sit well with a lot of people though. Even at the time, conspiracy theorists were getting ready for a story of a lifetime. One of the first people to come forward was an Indian man who apparently had a vision showing where Holt's body was buried on the ocean floor. A number of negotiations were exchanged between the Australian High Commission and the Indian Parliament, but of course no one was ever found. That was just the start of it though. It has since been said that Holt committed suicide by intentional drowning, or he faked his own death to run off with his mistress. One of the most entertaining conspiracies though was made up by journalist Anthony Gray. In his 1983 book, The Prime Minister Was a Spy. The outrageous accusation said that Holt was a Chinese operative and his disappearance was an attempt to get back to China. And the reason he was never found was because a Chinese submarine picked him up off the beach. Others claim he'd been abducted by a UFO, as John Kill wrote in his 1970 book, Operation Trojan Horse. The book said that the elemental foretold Holt's death in conjunction to the Silver Bridge collapse in Point Pleasant the year earlier. Kill's connection with Holt and the Mothman prophecies prompted others to assume that he was an alien representative sent to Earth. Whether or not that reasoning is true, I'll leave up to you. In 2007, the suicide theory was promoted more by journalist Ray Martin in his documentary Who Killed Harold Holt. Then, the same year, the Australian Weekly Magazine and the Bulletin did a story on the suicide conspiracy. But there at least is one man who disagrees with all their assessments. Gary Simmons takes Harold Holt conspiracies to a whole new level. Simmons openly claims that Holt was murdered. I know that doesn't sound so outrageous, but it gets better. Simmons notes that there was no official inquiry into Holt's death until 2005, when the laws changed to allow a coroner's inquest. The inquest concluded that Holt's death was caused by accidental drowning, but it just seems like something made up to silence those supporting the Chinese operative theory. And Simmons believes this is all an attempt to cover up real events. On his website, Simmons goes into great detail on how Holt was murdered the night before, so December 16th. But how does he know this? Because Simmons was personally tasked with removing Holt's body from his home and throwing it out to sea to wait for a fishing boat. Yeah. Simmons, it seems, is some sort of secret operative for the Australian government. Well, at least he believes he is. Simmons has persisted in writing letters to the Australian government giving details about his involvement in the murder, but no one has yet given him any credit. Maybe this is due to the fact that he's completely bonkers. On his website and in his letters, Simmons consistently refers to the second supreme law of the universe, which he uses as a defence for his actions. 
It has been well known for a while that people who embark on letter writing campaigns such as Simmons seem to be a little bit unstable. He also refers to them and they and even includes the quotation marks so he doesn't even know who opposes him or that no one does. Here's the kicker though ladies and gentlemen. Simmons offers details, accurate details, about things he apparently shouldn't know, such as sworn statements to the coroner's office as a part of their inquiry, but he's never been taken seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find hours of late reading looking through the Australian National Archives. You can look at documentation surrounding the investigation, and but what you will not find in this wealth of information is what truly happened to Harold Holt. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.